Hey y'all, welcome back to Baker's Kitchen on Baker TV. Cooking with Anitria Baker and Mr. Baker. Today we are making some empanadas. These beef and cheese empanadas. Yes, so stay tuned. We are coming back. Mr. Baker is really driving this shit today because he is the empanada king around here. Yes, he makes the empanadas. And you guys are in for a treat. You're going to learn how to make them empanadas just in case you don't know. You're going to learn today in the baker's kitchen. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. We are going to be making some empanadas. Yes. Uh, we are going to be using the Goya disc. Right here. You can find this in your um, in your um, local supermarket. It's really easy to find. They have different brands. Okay, so we are going to be using these Goya empanada disc um you can find them in your local supermarket um they're pretty easy to find no big deal um they come in another color as well i honestly don't know the difference between the two colors i always um end up getting this white one so i have two packs of these we are going to be making this 10 10 comes in each pack uh, we are going to be making 20 in total um beef empanadas with some cheese yes so stay tuned while Mr. Baker get, get up. Oh, let me show you guys my meat. <laughs> Here's our ground beef. It's all cooked and ready to go. So, okay, so you first you want to place your disc out if you if you prefer to do it this way. Since we're doing um 20 of them, we place them all out. You see they're sitting right on top of the plastic that separates them in the pack. So they're not just, you know on the countertop there on top of the plastic the plastic that comes in the pack to separate them uh, mr. Baker is doing this he usually does our empanadas this is one of his favorite dishes to do our cheese right here all nice and sliced up ready and waiting to go up in these empanadas yeah so now we getting the empanadas all together you want to spoon your meat on one side of the empanadas not too much in the middle mostly on like one side so that when you fold it over you already have your meat on the one side instead of like you know because if you, you put it in the middle I think it's just gonna move all around too much when you're trying to fold it over so it's best to place it on one side as much as you can so we get in this meat all placed up on these discs, these empanada discs. <laughs> yes, this meat smells really good too. It smells so good going on these discs. I cannot wait. I can't wait. Uh, you season with a little adobo. We got a little adobo on the, on the meat. What else? Some garlic powder. Garlic powder. Parsley. The, parsley. And onion powder. And some onion powder. And a little bit of sesame. And a teeny bit of sesame up on that meat. And it's smelling really, really good. I can tell y'all that right now. My stomach is really growling. We're gonna come right back and add that cheese onto these empanadas. And of course, start them onto their fry. Throw them in the pot to fry up and get ready to get eaten. And bust down, bust down, bust down. <laughs> so we'll be right back to add this cheese. So this is some sharp cheese and a little bit of um, pepper jack. I know that little bit of cheese is a little bit of pepper jack because we don't want too many pepper jacks. We really basically want sharp and and like Mr. Baker said that pepper jack was really for him to eat while he was getting this done up. So we have a couple of pepper jacks up in there. So we're going to just add cheese on top of each one of these. Oh, 
Okay, so we are back and we have a couple of the empanadas closed up already. They are not, um, what do you call it? They're not sealed. They're, They're not sealed closed. yet, but we have them closed up. And if you notice, they have the, um, the plastic is still, like I said before, the plastic is still on the um, empanada shell. And you just take it and you can close it up just like that. Pinch it. Pinch it all together just like that. You are off to a good start before you actually do your sealing of the empanada. So you see how fast this is getting done. It's easy if you take your time and just know what you're doing. And pretty much taking them and closing them just like that makes all the difference in how fast and how efficient you can make these empanadas. So you can get to eating, honey, eating, eating. <laughs> So anyway, like we say, you just take that, the shell with the meat inside and start squeezing on that bad boy it's to right close here. it up. It's not hard. It's really easy. So now that you get the gist of, you see what, what is happening when you take pick up the empanada. That's why I said it's um, important to have your your meat and your cheese or whatever you fill in your empanada shell with, mostly on one side. I know it's kind of impossible, especially um, if you have like a lot of stuff going inside of the shell, to only have it on one side. But as much as you can, just so the pickup could be much easier. You don't have to, you know, worry about too much of your um, stuff. Spillage. You're falling over, spilling out of your shell and all that. So, this makes it much easier. If you see the plastic, like I said, is still on. They're tightly pinched together. They're not sealed. We're going to come back and show you guys the sealing of these empanadas. And this is a really, really inexp inexpensive dish. The, um... The disc, if you don't know, um, cost about $2, maybe $2.50. And you can find a pack of ground beef for less than $5. You can find a pack of ground beef for $5 or less. If you know how to look. If you know how to look for it and, you know. And this don't take a lot of ground beef. So you can get a pack of ground beef for about $5 or less. I mean, more if you have more people to feed. You're making more than... Um, 20 empanadas but you've seen the amount of meat we had you've seen that we had 20 disc and this is and the, the empanadas are pretty full they're not skimpy or anything they got the meat and the cheese so i think you'll be pretty good with a decent pack of um ground beef and your empanadas and like i said it's not um expensive it's not hard to make it's really tasty so yeah give it a try if you haven't already and we're going to come right back and show you the ceiling of these empanadas so stay tuned stay tuned stay tuned stay tuned okay so we are back and this is the sealing part of the empanada that um, we're getting ready to show you now so here we go so you just take your fork and if you notice the plastic is still in some places still underneath the fork it doesn't matter as long as you get those um, those prints, those fork prints right up there. Doesn't that look really good? As long as you get those fork prints up in there. I can do that harder. Just that simple. You're taking your fork and you're pressing um, prints, fork prints, right? To seal that seal empanada prints. off so that way it won't open up in your oil when you're frying it. You want to make sure it's tightly pressed so that way it don't it does not open up when you're when you are frying it now if you get a hole in one of your empanadas and you you're not able to like tightly pull the, the um the empanada um the dough back into place don't i don't know if you should fry that one because it might come apart inside your oil and have the meat and the cheese and everything up inside your oil or just take the two pieces and squeeze them together. Or, like he, like Mr. Baker said, you could take the two, take the dough, and just between your fingers, with a hole is, squeeze it together. See, like here. 
squeeze it together. No, but I really was talking about like if it was a hole on the top, on the or, top the or the bottom. You know how sometimes it. Yeah, say if it's something here, right? Say if it's something like right here. A hole. Squeeze Just squeeze the hole together. But you know, sometimes when it. um, I noticed that when you. Um, the dough gonna be loose because of the heat. It's gonna be loose. It's gonna. It's already start expanding, so. It's, and I also noticed that when you um, like say for instance you throw it you throw it out and you let it get too soggy, like it's not. Some of them don't work um, well, you know. And I'm just, you know, I, I you wouldn't want all that stuff inside your oil. So if you're not able to repair it correctly, there you go. Then I wouldn't fry it because but if you got a little skill, and it's it not hard, down. it's really easy. Yeah. So you just press down all around the whole thing. Some people go on both sides of it. It really doesn't matter. That's mm -hmm. more so for decoration. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But you don't have to. You could do it just like this. Press it tightly. You want to make sure it's tightly squeezed first together, and then press it tightly with your go. fork. Go. Really simple. What Miss Baker don't like doing. Yeah, I, this part is a little. It's a little tedious. It's a little too tedious <laughs> for Miss Baker. So, yeah, Mr. Baker's here. So we got Mr. Baker here. He he ready, willing, and able. Always. <laughs> so yeah, so now we down to our last one. And while he do that one, I'm gonna let you guys take a look at these empanadas. See how good they are looking. Yes, you can see how good those um that seal is looking. That those babies ain't going nowhere. They are not coming apart in our grease, and that's what you want. You want your oil to be still clean when you get finished, not no particles <laughs> from your empanada hopping around in there. All right, so we got all 20 of our empanadas done. We're going to move on to the next stage, which is we are going to fry these bad boys. Mm. We're going to fry these bad boys up, and we have our oil. We just got to heat it up. And we even have some more cheese left for me to snack on, which is always good. So we're going to let our oil, our oil heat up, and then we'll be right back with these empanadas frying up. Okay, so we have our empanadas in the pan frying up. This is them getting all nice and golden brown about to be. They're pretty white right now, and they just got in there. So they're frying up. And you don't want to overcrowd your pan because they'll start sticking together. And then once they stick together, um, the dough will start ripping off the dough off of the next one. And then you'll have a mess um, like that as well. So I'm just trying to tell you guys what I've learned from making empanadas and from seeing Mr. Baker make empanadas. Um, what, what can happen to save you the trouble. So don't overcrowd your, um, your pot because, like I said, if you overcrowd this pot, They'll start sticking to each other, and once you and when you try to get them off, and they're not done, um, they they sometimes rip and pull pull the dough and rip it, and then you'll have a um, a mess inside of your oil like that as well. And if that does happen, I would just let it cook stuck together, and then once it's all hard and you know the dough ain't soft anymore, then I would just take them and take them apart once they come out. But I wouldn't try and do it if they're still sticky and gooey in the uh, frying pan. I wouldn't try to move them. Um, to take them apart but yeah you want to let them fry um, on each side you'll start to notice them getting like really golden and that's what you want to see uh, once it start getting to um, getting golden maybe a little tiny bit darker than when they first um, start getting golden then you can flip it over because you don't want them to be too light or too dark so you want to get it a nice golden brown and then you'll flip them over and let it get like that on the other side and then they're basically done because all you really waiting for to get done is the dough. Remember, the meat is already done. The cheese is going to melt as soon as they hit that grease. So everything else is basically ready to go. So you're just waiting for this dough to get done and nice and golden brown. Okay, so see I have my um, empanadas all turned around. So they got done. They're nice and golden brown on one side. So now I'm just letting them get golden brown on the other side. And then I'll add three more to this pot and cook them just like that 
so they're almost done. These, this first batch is about to come out. They're nice and golden brown, which is amazing. It's about to be done and can come out. Okay, so this, now we are adding in our last bit of empanadas. So you're going to take the plastic off, just like that. And you got your plastic off. That's the last batch of empanadas trying. Last batch. Last batch. <laughs> Going in. See, the grease, the grease is um, the grease is pretty hot now, so you see it's getting pretty brown pretty quick. That's what you want, and then we got our other, our already done empanadas. See all golden brown and good those babies look. Yes. They are nice and done up, ready to be eaten and socked up. <laughs> and we just waiting on this last batch. You want, like I said before, you want to make sure they get nice and brown on one side before you start turning them. You see, Mr. Baker, he got four empanadas in his um pan here. He a pro at this. I'd be too scared because sometimes these things be a little finicky, like I said. And they start sticking together and ripping a <laughs> ripping a hole in the empanada. So I'll be a little shaky. I only put about three in there, but see it worked out fine with his four. Hey y'all, welcome back to Baker's Kitchen, Baker TV, cooking with Demetria Baker and Mr. Baker. We made us some empanadas today, as you guys seen. These are them. Yes. And um, usually I eat empanadas with guacamole and some sour cream maybe and some um, sauce. We usually have it with like guacamole, salsa, and um, like cream cheese. I mean cream cheese. <laughs> sour cream. <laughs> So we use, that's how I usually eat it. I love to eat it with guacamole. It tastes so good with guacamole to me. But today, I am going to be trying something different. It might be a little bit unconventional. I don't know. But I'm going to be using the seafood, the, the butter sauce that I use for my seafood. I'm going to be using that for my sauce today. Um, only because, funny story, I had, you know, tried it on on the, um, the um, empanada by mistake. Well, not by mistake. Um, I had made some empanadas, but then, you know, I had leftover empanadas on the stove and, um, I was making my, um, my, my, my seafood bowl that I love and at the sauce, the seafood bowl was there with the sauce and then I don't know, I just was like, okay, let me taste this inside of this sauce or whatever the case may be. And lo and behold, oh my God, it was so good. I don't know if it was just that day. Zoe, y'all, y'all know how Zoe get down already. Y'all hear her over here. But, um, I don't know if it was just that day, but what I am going to do, I'm going to go out and make these empanadas. Well, <laughs> me and Mr. Baker made these empanadas. And I'm going to go ahead and try it in this sauce to see how, um, if it tastes just as good as I thought it did that night. Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and give these things a try. This is my sauce. Oh, look at that cheese. So, um, yeah, this 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 meat that was made, this sauce was made with, don't have too much seasoning on it, thank God, because we're going to see. No, it really, it, it really does taste good. Um, of course, not as good as seafood, but this sauce actually really do taste good, I think, on everything. And you got to think about it. It's really seasony. It's spicy. It really, mm, it's spicy. <laughs> no, but this tastes so good. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. You sure? Sure don't. You still got your gloves on? Yep. Yeah, so we, okay. Speaking of your gloves. Y'all know. 
that we've been living in this almost sort of like a nightmare with this coronavirus. I just, it's like really unbelievable that this thing has gotten this, this serious and it's still going on. And I just want to say real quick that I'm praying for all, anybody that's been affected by it, um, health wise or whatever, because it's really not a game. Um, it's so many things I want to say about this situation, but I'm going to keep it on this food. But I am going to say, you know, I, I do want to um, send some prayers and some thoughts out to those people that's, that's really um, being affected by this or whatever the case may be. You know, even our kids, they are out of school, losing their little minds and stuff like that. So I want to keep them in prayer as well. <laughs> they want to go back to school now. <laughs> oh. But, um, yeah, that's just a little light, um, little, a little laugh about it because it's really so serious. Everybody is really stressed out. I think that everybody's had enough of this and is praying and wishing for things to go back to normal. I know I am. Like, you know, people just want to live their normal, regular lives, and you're not able to do that right now. And it's, it's stressful. But, um, anyway, I'm going to get back to this food, these empanadas. So I would love to try this with, like, some shrimp empanadas, maybe even like a crab empanada. I don't know. Just throwing some stuff out there. Didn't I have a piece? Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> so they, Zaydan, and Mr. Baker's over here enjoying there. Oh, Zaydan don't want to be mentioned today. You know, he's acting, you know, a little anti-social like I don't know. Zoe's even over there enjoying her stuff. So, you know, it's keeping her pretty occupied, which is good. So now I don't got to worry about my sauce dripping back down into here. Okay. Nobody wants any right now. <laughs> so it's all for me. Mm, sorry, I got a piece. Mm. Mm. So you know how that feels. It was hard, too. That little end piece was stuck up there. That always happens to me while I'm eating chicken. When you eat your chicken? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Or any time I eat. This is honestly really good. It's really spicy, too. <laughs> I don't know. Every time I eat something spicy, y'all, I, I, I feel like y'all could just see. I'm pretty much like a, a sweater. That couple with the fact that this stuff is spicy. Woo! Mm, this is so good. This is really good. Mm, mm, mm. Yo, and I got a water right there. You can pass it to me. Thank you. Mm. So, as y'all can see, nobody wanted to you know, physically join the video. I'm here eating my empanada. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Woo! So I don't know. People is really stressed out too because you can't even go get your nails done, your eyebrows done. But thank God for makeup. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a sad, it's a sad time. It's a weird time. It's a really weird time. I was just saying. Thank you. Mm. But I learned when you have no um, control over, over stuff, that it's best not to worry about stuff that you don't have any control over. Because what are you really gonna do, honestly? All we honestly can do is wait it out. You know, hopefully it's not very long. And, you know, hopefully we could get back to our normal, everyday, regular lives without any bull crap. And, you know, that's it. So stay, stay positive. Try to stay positive. I know it's really hard because, you know, a lot of people are out of work. Mm. You know, so... 
Anyway, ooh, that was a burger. I told y'all when I me and spicy, me and spicy. Ooh, hey, burping. Mmm. Y'all, please give these empanadas and this sauce a try, please. It is really good. I'm telling you guys, it's so good. Just don't season your meat. Or really season your meat. You don't want that. You want it to be flavorful, tasty, delicious. Yeah. How about my hair, guys? How you guys liking my hair? It's looking really good. It's looking so good. You gotta compliment yourself. Please. You might give yourself compliments sometimes. He is looking so. Is my hair looking good, Mr. Baker? Looks very good, baby. Very nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's all fishing for compliments. <laughs> I ain't got a fish, honey. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just basically. I'm. I'm like y'all. Y'all already know about me. I'm basically on the verge of being full. And I just wanted to come on here, you know, being that we made our empanadas. You guys got to join us making these empanadas. I said, why not? Join me eating the empanadas. Why not? Of course, I'm not gonna eat all these empanadas because it is so many. You guys see that? And they really hot. They really still so hot. So, yeah. I'm about to be done though, because I'm full. And I always say, you know, he always hear me say, like, I love food. And I do, I love food. But it's not so much that I love to eat food. Not that I don't love to eat food, but it's more so that I love um food. Like the idea of making food um tasty and look good. And I just, I just honestly, 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 I really just love, like, you know, I think I might have been a chef in my past life. I don't know. <laughs> not, not saying that I could, I'm just an amazing cook. That's not what I mean. I mean, the fact that I just, the fact that I love food. I honestly love food. Um, and what you guys might not know about me is that I am a licensed cosmetologist, which means I do hair for a living. Um. I just feel like it's all about being creative. Doing hair is about being creative. Cooking is about being creative. And those are the things that I um I gravitate more toward. So, you know. That's why I think I love food so much because you could be creative with it. That's why I think I love hair. And like, I'm about to have food in my hair. Can't be up here. Can't be up here looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, so that's a little bit about me. Um, I don't know. As you, as you can see, I'm always talking about, like, cooking and food and stuff, right? Not only am I doing it, I'm always talking about it, right? I know. I love it. Some people don't like it. Sucks to be dumb. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, but this is so good. Trust me, if it wasn't, I would tell you guys. I'm not going to sit up here and be like, oh, this is so good. Just because I made it. If, it mm, if this wasn't really good, I would tell you guys because I'm not like that. I'm going to stay here and say, oh, eat it. No, good. Just because I made it. Like, that's mad whack. No, if it's nasty, it's nasty. But this tastes good together. You don't believe me? Give it a try. But I'm so full. Like, let me eat this last piece. Guys. That was really good. That was really delicious. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, 
pretty done with this food right now. Like I said, I just jumped on here really quickly to show you guys. I just jumped on here, you know, because we just cooked this, um, these empanadas. And I just wanted to show you guys, like, my little sauce that I was trying it with. Okay. When I tried, when I tasted it on the whim, I was like, oh, this is so good. This is so good together. I'm going to have to really mix it. It was like the end of my empanada. So I only had like a piece that I had left on the stove. And I was like, oh, I don't know why. So let me taste it inside of this sauce. And I was like, oh my God, that tastes so good together. I said, I'm going to make some empanadas. I'm going to make some sauce. And this is about to be... This thing is about to be married together, baby, because I'm putting them together. So I will definitely be doing this again. Um, but I'm out of time. I'm out of time. I'm out of topics. I'm out of stuff. I'm out of appetite. Nah. <laughs> but um, thank you guys for sitting down and eating these good old empanadas. In this sauce. Thank you for sitting down with me eating this empanadas and this sauce together. Um, tasting this good old sauce and these empanadas together. And cooking these empanadas with us today. Me and Mr. Baker was in the kitchen today. Which is not abnormal because we are in the kitchen a lot together. So, like I said, thank you guys for chilling with me. Eating these empanadas. That's Mr. Baker, he said, as always. Deuces from us here in the Baker's Kitchen. See, I'm still burping. It doesn't even make no sense. I can't even give, like, I, I, you know what? We gonna see y'all next time. And if you're not subscribed, wanna ring that bell. Hit that subscribe button. Let us know it's real. Let us know it's real. Hit that subscribe button. I'm waiting. Ring that bell. I'm waiting. <laughs> Ring that bell. Like, comment, and share. Let your friends know. Let your families know. Maybe somebody don't know how to make those empanadas. Maybe they don't know that these empanadas taste as amazing as they do with this sauce. Let your family know. Don't keep us to yourself. Share. Sharon is Karen. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go now. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna get head on and I'm gonna tap that stop record button. Deuces as always from us here at the Baker's Kitchen. Peace out, guys, and stay blessed. Next time.